babies welcome back to the channel it is me Ari of course to be talking to you guys about school high school dual enrollment college university what I want my future 2021 everything we will be speaking on everything okay so yes let's go ahead and get into it so I'm gonna be plugging my eyebrows out but I'm gonna talk to you guys too so <laughs> I literally you guys I I have always took school pretty seriously um probably because my mom always was pretty serious about school and my oh my god because I was always told to take school very seriously and I feel like a lot of kids they don't know I feel like a lot of parents they don't stress it that it is important to go to school and really try to maintain a 3.0 or higher i feel like a lot of kids say okay if i graduate with a 2.0 it's fine but in my eyes if you're gonna graduate 2.0 you might as well not even go i can't be the only one that thinks that like if you're gonna graduate at the lowest standard in my opinion don't even go <laughs> like i mean it's like i mean i think about it the workload the workload isn't really crazy, but when you're like a freshman, you see that it's a heavy more. It's definitely a heavier workload in high school. But as you age your junior year, I promise you it's probably gonna be your most stressful year. Well, at least in this. At least in the state of Florida, junior year is probably the most stressful year. Like junior year, you're trying to like rap your whole high school up into one year and make sure that you graduate next year on time like everybody else and if you failed any classes before this is the year that you have to make it up you know what i'm saying and that's probably the whole wrap of junior year <laughs> literally because in florida senior year prom graduation uh the trips like that's all it is and it's really like just a celebration. It's not really like you're not actually going to school for books or to learn anything. That's at least my high school when I was in Florida. So, yes, you guys, junior year really is like your last year. And that's why I stress that you need to like really, really, really be down on your last or on your junior year. So besides that, I wanted to talk about the dual enrollment. You guys, um, I had dual enrollment in middle school but it wasn't serious it's not a serious thing it's kind of like just a kind of like a an extra class to help you for high school and they have it in high school but I don't recommend it for freshmen or sophomores I don't because I feel like your freshman year you're kind of getting used to school so I feel like it's not a good idea to try to hop and do college courses your freshman year yeah i don't feel like it's smart to hop and try to get into a college course if you're just getting into high school because you haven't even got a hold of your high school classes yet and now you're gonna like add more and then you just don't want to stress it and you don't want to do too much it's better for somebody to maintain a good gpa like a 3.0 and maintain it and maintain it and maintain it and then when they feel like ah oh, this is easy add it on if you can you know what i'm saying so yeah um for me in the state of florida i am just not getting into dual enrollment and oh my god you guys i'm oh sorry i am just not getting into dual enrollment i really am starting to feel like it's very important now since i do want to go to college and i want to go to college for four years for biology i am i'm a nerd when it comes to science i really love science and i eventually want to be a surgeon i actually i want to go into plastics but i i want to go into plastics but i literally am not 100 percent sure but i probably will go into like general and then i'll specialize later but yeah like that's my dream my goal is to get my four years in biology and med school and then go and become a surgeon but it was like 
I don't know there's so many different programs now like you guys can look it up I don't know all the programs but they have programs where you can as soon as you do your four years you can do six and then that's it and then they have programs where you can do like four and then like I think like no not four and then six but it's like two those two to get your associates and then right after that you can do like six but it, it's like I don't know you guys have to really look into it every state is different so I don't know okay every state is different <laughs> but hold on but yeah it's really that's what I want to do I want to go into surgery surgery like I want to become a surgeon but I really want to specialize in plastics um I feel like our our society right now is so into like plastic surgery and I feel like everybody just wants to be like this little plastic model and I feel like everybody's different but just imagine like not only the workload but the hustle of being a plastic surgeon I feel like you're just so like I don't know I feel like it's just in high demand like I want to do something that's in high demand and now if I were to stay here in Portugal I probably wouldn't be a surgeon be, unless I was going to specialize in like the heart or the brain. But plastics here isn't popular and it's not really something that you see everywhere you go. Like if you go to Miami, Jax, if you go to Florida, plastics, it's like, yes, I'm saving up to get my booty done. <laughs> I'm saving up to get this boobies done i'm saving up like everybody's so happy about it oh yes i'm paying for my mom to get botox like at least where i'm from at the beach that's how they are like um it's important you know to think ahead of your life and i feel like it's like people don't people don't think about it like oh my god so many of my friends it just oh it's just it makes me mad is like if the parent let me tell you if the parent doesn't stress that school is important the kids are going to take it lightly but baby how my family work baby if i get anything below a 3.0 it's my ass <coughs> it's my booty it is it's it like it's gonna be the yelling to take trying to take the phone away and everything gotta maintain at least the b and everything okay but i am going to literally question is what the heck am I gonna do with this hair I'm going to meet my doctor though because I think I will get a prescription and then I'm just gonna put this up in like this little cute little half up half down situation but yeah I just colored I just plucked them out my brows my brows I don't know why but let me tell y'all so in the end they started to like not fade but they started to like not be good you know what i'm saying and i don't know i don't know what happened but it was like uh, jacked up you know why did i just lick my lips man now i'm not gonna be now there's oh yeah and i'm feeling so much better I don't feel sick at all anymore and yes because i was feeling so sick on my vlog miss that i was like the first week of vlogmas i already missed a day like ari do better video you guys like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video this video was mad short um yeah see you guys in the next video and sorry couldn't have been longer it's too much stuff going on in his house we about to go do a whole bunch of stuff it's super it's late at night it's like eight o'clock and yeah hopefully my screen gets better you guys pray for me i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video
I'm gonna put her this way because she her eyes aren't open yet and she don't like the too much light Look, this is my stanka. Can you guys see? This is my stanka. She is, he is, he is um, day 22. What day is it today? About a week and a half years old. Years. A week and a half old. He's a boy and he's a Maltese poo poo. And he's the most darling fat boy. Okay. And he loves me. I just put on my I just move my necklace back and I just put on in my, my jacket. And he just and he doesn't even move. He won't move for like 30 minutes. He just sleeps like this. In my jacket because it's cold. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, get Abre the porta. Ah. 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 Ah.